Joined right now by Sam Houston State head coach Casey Keeler. Coach, had y'all's first real practice in shoulder pads this fall. You know, what, what were your thoughts on what you saw from the guys today? Well, if you think about it, we haven't been in shoulder pads and helmets since March 5th. I mean, it's been a while. And uh, it was great to get the guys back out there doing some like real football. And you know, one of the nice things was at the end, I had to remind them, hey, this isn't live. We gotta learn to keep guys up, which I'd rather be telling them those things than that we have to be a little bit more physical. Uh, so it was a physical practice. I thought we got after each other on the, on the O line and D line. Uh, kids were running around. So I thought for a first real practice, I thought it was pretty good. There were some areas, you know, maybe specific guys or positions that you've really seen kind of step up throughout this unusual offseason. Well, you know, Joe Wallace has just transformed his body. And, you know, he's an All American level player to begin with. He's even made, made himself better. Uh, Trace Mascara, same thing. I mean, he's an All American level player. He's even gotten better. Um, Jahari K, so, and Jahari had a good season last year. We think he would have a, a better season this year. So we have, we have a pretty salty defensive line now. Uh, been really happy with Trevor Williams, what he's doing at middle linebacker. Um, really, really like what uh, Markel uh, is doing at the other linebacker spot. So uh, again, we feel we're, we're making some progress, uh, you know, in terms of being where we were last year defensively. Uh, offensively, I think I have three phenomenal running backs. Um, Noah Smith gives us the versatility to play him at slot, play him out wide, play him at running back. Uh, you know, Donovan obviously had a great year last year. Um, so, you know, we feel pretty good at that spot. Um, you know, I, I really think it's going to come down to can we rebuild this offensive line? And I think the talent's here. It's just going to be a matter of us all putting this thing together. Right, and you know, some teams obviously opt in to play in the fall. Y'all going exclusively in the spring. You know, what was kind of just the thought process behind that, and why do you think that's you know the best decision for this team? Well, yeah, there's just so much mystery. Look at Houston, and they, they've they've played zero games out of five. They've had five different opponents, and they haven't played a single one. You know, if we'd have played week one, we'd have been down about 35 players. Same thing with week two. Um, week three, I think half our offensive line was out, and it's all because of contact tracing more than anything else. You know, and we're very strict about that. So it's you know who's your roommates, who you drive in a car with. You know, we don't ever meet in person. We zoom everything. We don't use a locker room, uh, so we never have those situations. So we're doing everything in our power to you know keep our players safe. Uh, we got helmets with masks already attached to our helmets. Uh, so when they're out on the field with their helmet on, mask is on. If they take their helmet off mask they have another mask they pull up or like we're doing we physically distance from each other so as long as we're doing one of those three we think we're keeping our kids pretty safe uh but uh, so there's been some challenges with you know trying to do that whole thing but there's no question playing in the spring was the right, right way to go we have a chance to play for a conference championship conference champion moves on to the ncaa playoffs you know we've been the final four in the country five out of the last 10 years I mean, really, the thing that's off our resume is the national championship. And when I came here, that's one of the things I talked about. I mean, we want to try to be national champs. So trying to play in this fall, a money game or two didn't make any sense at all. So I really like what our administration did, uh, and they've been really supportive. And uh, our kids are really excited to start the season. And get a couple weeks here, getting to put the pads on, almost like a little bit of a second, you know, spring ball for you guys. What, what's the biggest things you'd like to see your team accomplish these next? Yeah, few years? you know, that spring ball in the fall. You know, we, we this is a great opportunity to just you know kind of get some some things gelling. You know, I think obviously defensively with all the guys we have coming back, we're pretty far ahead there. The skill kids offensively are really as good as we've had. We love the skill kids. It's again the quarterback getting more reps because he really didn't get a lot of reps last year. When he played, he played great. But Eric needs to get more reps, and it's rebuilding that offensive line. We can rebuild the offensive line. We'll be as good as we've ever been.